guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review of uh, my Lush uh, for Princess Hair Essentials that I got. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys have seen that I've been putting a lot of pictures with my hair extensions. I got them like a little bit more than a month ago. And I'm really happy with them. So I know a lot of you guys have been asking me questions about them. So I was like, why not make a review so you guys can actually see how they look like, right? So yeah, let's get started. So um, I just wanted to say a little background of me having hair extensions, why not? And so you guys can know why I got this one. So basically I used to wear hair extensions before when I was in high school. I was like way, way back over there, like five years ago. That was a long, long time ago. And the hair extensions that I used to wear, they were like from like Sally's or they were from... Um, you know those places where you buy hair extensions and wigs and all that stuff. So they were not like really, uh, I guess you could say, good quality. That um, they were like super good or anything like that. I mean, Sally's hair extensions, they're okay. But they're like in the middle. They're not like really bad, but they're not really good. So, and they are kind of pricey too. So, I mean, I wouldn't really recommend those. And, um, yeah, it's been, if you guys see, this is the actual length of my hair right here. You can see that. So, it's really, really short. Um, so, I really wanted to get some hair extensions. I've been looking and searching, and, um, I have heard a lot about from Bellamy Hair, and everyone's like, oh, Bellamy Hair on Instagram, and that they're really good hair, but I checked them out, and... They're kind of pricey. And since I'm really coming back to wearing hair extensions, I haven't worn them like I said in years. And I didn't want to spend that much money because I was like, what if I don't even like wearing them anymore? What if I don't even want to use them? And I'm going to spend like almost $200 or so what for hair that I'm probably not even going to wear. So I kept on doing a little bit more research. And then I found the shade for princess right here and I'm really happy that I found them they're like a really good company their hair extensions is a really good quality I will honestly recommend buying them and their prices are amazing like honestly they're so I don't even want to say cheap because it's not uh, cheap uh, it's not bad quality hair they're unexpensive like I mean I guess you could say that so they come in this package right here and the cool thing about this is that they actually give you a tester that it comes in here before you open the whole thing because if you're not sure what uh, color you want to get um, they give you a tester which is kind of let me show you guys so it's this one right here you see that's like even like a lot of hair this is full like that's a lot of hair for you to know if that's going to be your match color or not. And like I said, the reason why they give you that is because if you think this is not going to match your color, your hair color, the color you want it, um, you could return them. But if you open this little silver right here thing, can you see this right here? Once you guys open this, the warranty it, um, gets expired, cancel, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so you can't return it anymore. And the color I got, it says number 14, but it's actually Butterscotch Blonde. And um, the grams, I got 160 grams. It's the 22 inch hair extensions. So now, the grams. So, grams are how thick they are. So let me show you guys how thick they are. This is actually all the hair extensions that it comes with right here. And this is how um, thick they are. Can you see that? That's how much 160 grams is. So I pick 160 grams because, uh, like I said, I'm going back to wearing hair extensions. I haven't worn them in a long time. And I was like, I don't want to wear too much hair that I'm going to get headaches. I'm not going to like um because i want to start getting used to wearing hair extensions again so i could maybe later on buy more and more grams right so i'm really happy with them i mean i can't really complain to me that's a lot of hair like that's a lot of hair 160 grams is a really good hair especially if you're just starting to wear hair extensions like i am 
I will recommend 160 grams because if you guys, well, 160 grams and 220, I think that's the next one. I will recommend either one of those two because um, that's like a really good quantity of hair that you guys could try. And then, um, so yes, they're 22 inch. They were super, super long for me. So, I mean, you guys see, this is my hair right here. So, the 22 inch was like, let me show you guys. So, it was like up to right here. Like, almost like right here to my ass. You guys see, like, this is my hair. And it was up to over here. That is too, too long for me. I was like, I am not gonna wear that hair. Honestly, like, come on, that's too much. It, it was because um, it didn't really blend. So I did cut them a lot. I think now they're like 18 inches long. But it's good that they come in 22 inches because that way you could customize them the way you want, how long you want. I cut them. Um, I personally didn't cut them. I took it to the hair salon. They cut them in layers. So that way they go on layers and it looks really nice and it flows and everything. And now that I cut them shorter, they actually bend, blend even better. But before they, yeah, they look kind of fake. And like if you guys um, follow me on Instagram, I have some pictures when I barely got them and I posted and they were super long. I actually have this little ones right here. And this ones I have them cut up. That's how long they are. Super, super long. So these ones are the little ones that comes with. I don't use this ones. And yes, they're a different color. Like, I don't even know what color this is. Um, they were supposed to be purple. I hair I dyed them for Halloween. And I haven't washed them anymore because who's going to use these little ones? Like, that's, that's just a waste of time for me to go and put the little ones on. So I don't even use these ones. But this is the natural, um, uh, the length. So let me show you guys. So you guys see that? Like, can you guys see how long that is? I mean, look. That is super long. Oh, can you guys see my little... <laughs> my little puppy's in the back. She wants to get out. She's crying, but she can't because she had a surgery. Like I said, if you guys uh, follow me, I do have a personal Instagram. I'll put it down below so you guys can follow me. She had a surgery, and she's supposed to be in that little kind of crate mm -hmm. and she can't really be walking around she had a knee surgery and she wants she's crying right now in the background because she wants to get out so i'm sorry about that but yeah so it comes with those little ones and then it's like super long and then it comes with let me see it has one two three four five six it has six um i think they're called webs that's what it, it comes with. So it comes with um, one like this and it has three clips. And the clips, oh my god, the clips are amazing. They're like really, like, um, I guess you could say strong. Like they're not going to come off anytime soon. Like I seriously feel like those are going to stay there for a long, long, long time. So that's one of them. And there's this one's the one that comes with four, which is right here. And those are the ones that I usually put like in the middle. This one's another one with four, and this is how long it is. And then there's one that comes with three. This was the shortest layer that I have because that one I put it like right here in the middle. So it looks like I have layers on my hair. And then these are the ones that you put on the side right here. So yeah, they're cut in layers like kind of like, like this, like this. So they blend in with my hair. So the hair, like I said, is really, really good. I like it a lot. Um, it does, the only thing I don't like about it is that it tangles a lot. But I think the reason why it does that is because it's, um, is, what is this called? It's blonde. I don't know what's going on with me. I'm seriously. It's blonde. So I think that's why it tangles a lot. And I think that a lot of hair extensions does that. So it's. It's not like it's this the company quality that is not good. I think it's like a lot of hair extensions just tangle by themselves. But it's a really, really good quality. And um, 
I actually don't know if I'm gonna keep this one so if I'm gonna switch company I have like I said I have heard a lot of good things about Bellamy hair too and um well uh, a reveal for next year is that I'm actually gonna go lighter on my hair I'm probably gonna do an ash blonde which is almost like a white color and i'm really excited for that i can't wait for that it's gonna be like at the beginning of the year maybe not in january but around there so you guys need to keep up watching that like i said just follow me on instagram you guys know all the info on there so um i don't know if i'm gonna keep this hair extensions if i'm gonna apply uh put toner or if I'm gonna buy new ones, but if I do buy new ones, I do kind of want to try Bellamy hair. I just want to see the difference, and that way I could be set in one company and just stay with them. Oh, by the way, this is not sponsored by Lucy for Princess, or I'm not getting paid to talk about this. This is my personal opinion. I'm just letting you guys know what I think about them and what I like about them. And if you guys want to buy them, good. If not, then you guys don't have to. Don't worry about it. But for me, I think they're really good quality. They're not even that expensive. You guys want to know how much they are? Oh my god. Like seriously, the price is amazing. So, like I said, they're 160 grams. They're 22 inches and they're only $120. Yeah, $120. Like Sally's extensions, I think they're like 150 and they're 18 inches. Come on, like seriously. And they're nothing compared to this one. So, $120 is a really, really good price. The only thing that I didn't like about the price, the shipping. <sighs> the shipping killed me. The shipping is $30. I live in California on the um close to san francisco bay area so they're actually shipping from let me see if i could pronounce this new orleans new orleans yeah from somewhere over there you guys could check their website because i'll leave the link below so you guys could see where they're coming from so they're coming really far and that's why they you have to pay 30 dollars for shipping which is this understanding you know they're still cheaper than bellamy hair because bellamy hair i think for and I think it's not even 160 grams, I think it's like 120. I'm not that sure. Um, it was like almost $200. So, yes, yeah, so you guys are going to be saving like around 50 bucks. And like I said, it's really, really good quality. Actually, um, my friend that does my hair, she said that she has seen Bellamy hair before. And that they look the same like Le Schiffer Princess. I don't know if she's if it's true or not, if she was lying to me or not, but she said that it looked really like the same. So maybe they are from the same hair company, not company, but they come from somewhere close, similar, I don't know. But anyways, so I really hope um, you guys like this review. So I'm going to show you guys how to wear them and that way you guys know how to use them. And if you guys have any other questions, uh, let me know below. And I think, so I'm just going to put, um, I'm going to turn around. And I'm going to put almost all of them in my hair. So you guys could see how 160 grams look like. Besides the little ones, like I said, you don't really need the little ones. It's not even worth it. So I part my hair all the way here below. Like right here and it doesn't have to be a straight line because honestly who's gonna see if you have a straight line or not can you see okay so and then I put um, the one that has two I'm gonna put that one hold on let me look for it oh, where is it? oh it's actually the one that has three my bad so what I do, I start with the middle one, and I go kind of around like this, and make a knot, and then clip it. So kind of like this, make a knot, and then clip it. So I don't tease my hair to put them on, and they're really secure look. You see? They don't come off. They're, because I think if you tease your hair, you're damaging your hair more. So if you go kind of like around, it makes kind of like a little knot and then you just clip it in. So put another one.
So now I'm going to put the ones in the front. So this is how it looks. So let me put the ones in the front. So yeah, this is how they look like after you put them on. I know they look a little weird right now because they're not hairstyle. So if I go down, it looks like this. That's how long they are. So you guys see that? So now when it comes to taking care of them, uh, what I would recommend, don't wash them as much as you wash your hair. So basically what I do, I wash them um, once a month. Well, I barely got them for like a little bit more than a month. But I only wash them once because these are, yes, it is real hair, it is Remy hair, but it's not your actual hair. So it's not growing from your head, obviously, right? So it's not going to have the natural oils that your actual hair has. So it's not going to um, get more healthy if you do more stuff to it. So if you wash it a lot, um, it is going to get really ugly. You're going to have a lot of split ins and you guys, I'm not going to like that. So I will not recommend doing that. Um, yeah, just wash it once a month. And that should be good unless if you use a lot of products on your hair like a lot of hairspray um, mousse um, gel I honestly don't use anything on it when I curl them and that's all I do I don't even put hairspray like I don't have to they just stay they just the curls just last and then another thing yes to brush them um, I use this brush right here this one I got it from um, Forever 21 it's a really cute brush so what I do I just brush them really really soft like this um, don't brush them that hard because also you're gonna be pulling your hair so just really soft be gentle with them and another thing yes hair is gonna fall out no matter what you do to it, hair is going to fall out. Why? Because like I said, it's not your actual hair in here in your skull. So, in your head. Yeah, not your skull. <laughs> um, so it's not attached to your actual head. So it is going to fall. It is gonna, it's not going to last on their little thing that it comes with. It is going to fall. So don't worry about that. That happens to all the hair extensions, even the most expensive hair extensions. Even there's like a probably a thousand dollar hair extensions. I mean, I don't know how those work because I never tried them and I'm not going to try them. But any hair extension is going to fall. So the little hairs are going to fall no matter what you do to it. That's why you have to be really careful with them and don't wash them that often. And when you do, um, what I would recommend is wash them with a, a shampoo for um, maybe like damaged hair. And then use a deep conditioner. And also what it says on the actual paper says to not like, um, kind of like, you know, don't twist the hair like this or don't go like this to the hair. Just what I do, I just went like this with the shampoo, like really, really, really soft like this. With the conditioner, I went like this, really, really soft like that. Just be really careful with them. And 
think that's about it to taking care of them and i hope you guys really enjoyed this video thumbs up please comment follow me subscribe um I'm really happy with all my subscribers. I'm really happy for all of you guys that have been watching my videos. It makes me really, really, really happy. You guys have no idea. And I hope you guys really enjoy watching my videos. I'm going to try to make a little bit more. Um, I'm actually thinking of upgrading my camera because I have noticed that it goes out of focus out of nowhere. And if you guys know how to fix that, I have a Nikon uh, D3300. I think that's how you say it. So if you guys know how to fix that, let me know below. All you guys, cameras, geeks, and everything you guys know about cameras, let me know because I don't know how to fix that. And yeah. Oh, and if you guys like my makeup, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know details on my makeup. But on the lips, I'm wearing Mel Cosmetics Cake Face. Right here. And it's not called Cake Face. What am I thinking? It's called Space Cake. Seriously, I don't know what's going on to me with me today. This is my second video, okay? This is my second video um recording this for you guys because the first one I was so out of focus that you guys will see my eyes like like this, like 3D. And yeah, it was not a good video. So I'm recording this one again and I'm putting a lot of effort to sound as enthusiastic as I was in the first one so I hope you guys really enjoyed this I hope you guys like my review and if you guys do please comment below and subscribe and yeah I love you guys thank you for watching bye